you know there's been a debate on what encoder is the best for streaming. So there are two types of encoders. There's NVIDIA NVENC, which is the GPU, and the X264, which is the CPU encoder. Today, I'm going to go over which one is better and why you should use it. So like I said, there are two encoders that are most commonly used. There is X264, which is actually a CPU encoder, and it uses your CPU to encode all the frames and everything going on on stream. And there is an NVENC, which is actually NVIDIA's hardware encoder that uses a specific chip in the uh, NVIDIA GPUs that encodes all the streaming stuff and all the processes. So what's actually better? It really all depends on your CPU and GPU. There's also this QuickTime X264, but that's Intel's side on the X264. So if you have that in your OBS settings, don't worry about that. That's just Intel's version. It's the same thing as the normal X264. But if you use something like very fast preset in OBS on X264, you will actually get worse quality image and footage than you will get with an NVIDIA NVENC on like quality or high quality preset. So how does that work? Most games really use GPU to run the games and use the resources over there. So how can NVIDIA NVENC be better? Well, most of these new NVIDIA GPUs that go over the 20 series and even the 1660 and 1660 Ti versions they have this NVENC chip inside them. So it really uses only this like NVENC side of the GPU. So it doesn't use VRAM or any other GPU components that the games are using. So it can run simultaneously and it doesn't contradict with each other and it's perfect. I've used NVIDIA NVENC for a very long time now and I had zero issues with any games. Most games, like I said, use GPU. Some games actually run on CPU like CSGO. So if you have an uh, X264 encoder and you have like a CPU encoder, they will cause the games to lag and it will be really, really bad, especially on a single PC setup. If you have a multiple PC setup, you can go with X264 and then run on like medium to low uh, preset. That will look very good. But now on how good the NVIDIA is going and how you know well they're improving their stuff, I would actually go with NVIDIA NVENC and then use, like I said, high quality or even the quality preset and your footage will look phenomenal with almost no performance loss or anything like that in games or any other footage. It's going to be really good. So what can you do if you have an AMD GPU? Well, AMD actually has this feature called AMF, which is very similar to NVIDIA's NVENC. So I would honestly recommend you to use AMF and NVIDIA NVENC if you have AMD or NVIDIA GPU, make sure to use those two as X264 is really outdated now and most people really only use the GPU encoders as that doesn't really, uh, you know, use any resources and it doesn't hurt your performance in games. If you guys got this far into the video, make sure to drop a like. It takes you only a few seconds and it means the world to me. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.